Hey everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. For this week's prepper video, I want to talk about bugging out. Because in any disaster scenario, no plan ever really goes to plan. As evident by many of the images coming out of Europe where there are millions of refugees displaced from their homes. This is the worst case scenario that you can possibly find yourself in. That is, being away from home and the only necessities you have are the ones that you can carry on your back. Even though this is a worst case scenario, it's definitely something you need to prepare for as evident by many of the world events that are currently occurring. So there's a lot of good tutorials and information on the internet for how to create a robust bug out bag. Here is one of them that I created. The link will be in the YouTube description box where I have listed many of the individual items that I carry in my own bug out bag as well as the categories in which they fit. So hopefully you can use this list and use it to your advantage and customize a bug out bag that is right for you. In this particular video though, I wanna cover shelter because out of the top three things that take up the majority of weight in a bug out bag, shelter is one of them, water is another, and firearm ammunition is the third. Bug out bags should not be any more than 25 to 30% of your weight. And so focusing on shelter th for this video um, and sleeping bags specifically, you really want sleeping bags that aren't going to take up a whole lot of weight. Here is a sleeping bag that many preppers buy because if you go to surplus stores, it's way cheaper than what Amazon has it. And this is just a modular military surplus sleeping bag system. But the problem is it weighs 12 pounds. That is a huge chunk of change to put in your bug out bag. And it really doesn't allot a whole lot of weight for your other necessities. So the typical route that many people do when they want to shave off weight from their sleeping bag is go towards down sleeping bags. I was in the market for another down sleeping bag myself. So I was searching around Amazon for a new one and I came across this company called Outdoor Vitals. They had a zero degree 800 downfill sleeping bag listed at the time for $150. That price is unheard of, absolutely unheard of because if you look at some of the competitor products that are 800 downfill and around zero degrees, they range from $300 to $600. And that is way out of reach for many preppers, including myself. So when I saw this bag for, again, at the time it was $150, now it's $165, I was like, wow. I was like, um, this might be too good to be true. I need to look into this. I looked at the reviews and they all seemed really good. And I reached out to the owner of the company. His name is Tayson. It is a brand new startup company, small business owner. He, he and I exchanged several emails and he seemed legit. And on top of that, there was a 50% off Black Friday sale. So the bag at the time not was 150, but $80. That's just insane for an 800 down um, zero degree sleeping bag. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. And I gave it a try and it is excellent. Superb quality at an unbeatable price. And I wanted to make you guys aware of the product. Just to let you know, Tayson and Outdoor Vitals is not paying me or giving me any perks um, for doing this video. This is purely for me trying to make you guys aware of a great company with a great product at a great price. So here is me just doing a short little video after unboxing the product. You can just sort of scope out what the bag looks like. And afterwards, I have this photo of some of my other down sleeping bag configurations. Over on the left is a hammock gear incubator zero degree underquilt for hammock camping. In the middle is the outdoor vital zero degree bag. And on the right is an REI radiant 10 degree Fahrenheit. You can see the loft is pretty comparable between each of them. Actually, the outdoor vitals one sort of has a little bit of an overfill to it, which was real nice. The sleeping bag itself is made out of a ripstop nylon. Some companies call it sill nylon. If you've never had experience with the material and you purchase this bag, you may be a little bit worried because you'll think it's too thin, but rest assured, many top companies are using this material and even though it is very, very thin, it is very, very strong. Um, this bag only weighs three pounds, so compare that to the 12 pound military surplus bag. 
you can see here that it is compressible down to about the size of a hand. I believe the specs that Outdoor Vitals gives is 11 by 8, and so that's another great plus when you're trying to stuff your bug out bag full of gear. This doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Going into the specifics of the design of the bag before I actually go to my personal experience with it, they don't skimp corners. It does have a YKK zipper. The stitching on the bag looks very well done. I inspected the entire bag and there was no frays, there was no stitching that was out of alignment or anything of that nature. On the inside you have two draw cords around your neck and head just to keep in the heat. That's pretty typical. Those worked well. The bag is a little bit under 7 foot long and around 20 inches wide. Personally I am 5 foot 10, weigh 175 pounds and I was very comfortable inside the inside of the bag. Some of you may be a little bit concerned with the color being preppers. You don't want to be, you know, um, a big green light bulb in the middle of the woods when you're trying to, you know, evade, um, you know, other people that uh, are being displaced. But that's really not an issue for me because with all of my sleeping bags, instead of purchasing the entire setup of that military surplus modular sleeping system, I bought just the exterior Gore-Tex bivy. And so here you can see the Outdoor Vitals covered in this uh, bivy, and the color really doesn't matter at all. Even if you don't have the bivy, no one's really going to see the sleeping bag color if you put it in a tent or inside of a hammock with a tarp over it. So that's really a null issue for me. My personal experience with the bag is an awesome one. So I went out yesterday. It was 29 degrees Fahrenheit over the night. Not a whole lot of wind, wasn't raining, wasn't snowing. So all I did was put a pad on the ground, the sleeping bag on top of that, and slept out in the stars. And I was very, very comfortable. It was perfectly warm. Um, I was not uncomfortable, to say the least. And for anyone that's new to purchasing sleeping bags, know that the, the temperature degree rating on it is typically, I won't say this will apply to every single company, but typically it's a survival rating. It's not a comfort rating. And so with me living in a climate where the nights during the winter usually get below freezing, a zero degree sleeping bag worked great for me to have comfort, you know, whenever I'm sleeping. With regards to the one and only thing that um, maybe needed a little bit of improvement, and I reached out to Tayson and he said they're actually going to improve that on the next production run. You can see here there is a weather flap um, which sits inside the bag around the zipper so no um, air seeps in through, through the zipper. The weather flap is made of the same flexible material as the rest of the sleeping bag, that is that ripstop nylon, and it did get caught in the zipper quite a few times. As you can see here on my REI Radiant, on the right hand side there's actually a stiffer nylon that makes up the weather flap so it is not as prone to get stuck in the zipper and Tayson said they've made that modification on their other sleeping bags and based on my feedback they're going to do the same on the zero degree bag. So all in all that is hardly anything um, detrimental to this bag's quality. I mean all I have to do is just uh, just make sure I don't get the sleeping bag caught in the zipper and for you know right now $165 that is an insane price for a down sleeping bag and at three pounds and compressible down to the size of your hand excellent excellent choice to start to minimize both your weight and your bulk of your bug out bag to leave room for other necessities Again, I'll put the link to Outdoor Vitals in the YouTube description. It is definitely a company I think you should check out. Again, I'm doing this purely based on the fact that I think this is just an amazing quality product made here in the U.S. of A. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about their company or the bag or anything of that nature, I'd be happy to answer. Till the next video. See you guys later.